I've played Seven Days to Die for a while. I, I did a little bit of it. I've been in and out of the game. Uh, Seven Days to Die has been under a little bit of drama, and I kind of have, like, a loose understanding of what's going on, but I found a quick video. I want to watch, get some more details from a content creator in the space, and I think I have some opinions on it, but, like, I have to see see what the actual argument is and what Seven Days is doing because I think they may actively be killing their game. Probably by accident, but there's a chance that's what's going on. Welcome in, everybody. I am Dust Tulip, and there are a lot of shenanigans going on in the last 24 hours here in the Seven Days to Die community. Yesterday, on July 20th, there was a streamer, fairly large streamer, uh, Cardinal Zen, who was banned midstream and received a 48-hour ban from Twitch and a DMCA strike on his channel. Now, from the information that he posted on Twitter, that was due to him playing a modded version of Seven Days to Die. And I heard about this, and it has to do with, I believe Seven Days to Die is upset about a modder who made a system that does chat integration, which people prefer over their system, so they're mad that people are going outside of their infrastructure to do this chat integration mod, but it's a really big problem if a game starts attacking creators as opposed to the mod itself, because then it makes creators hesitant to create content in their game and in that space. And I think a lot of people watch creators, and if you push creators away from your game because they're afraid that their channel will be taken down pause striked you're going to do a lot of damage to your game's reputation and popularity unnecessarily and so again i want to get more of the details out of this but it is my understanding that there is a mod that is linked to chat integration that seven days doesn't like because it circumvents their chat integration mod and they came after the streamer who was using the mod and D DMCA'd them, which in turn is going to scare any other streamer from being in that category. Now, most of you are aware that the modded community for Seven Days to Die is fairly large. I mean, that is another thing. Like, modding in Seven Days is huge. The game's been popular for a very long time. But a lot of that is because it's been early access for a very long time, but they've allowed modders. The game has evolved and grown through modding, and it stayed popular through modding because the game has been early access for so long. And they do updates and they add content, but at the end of the day, I don't know that their organic changing of the game has developed this time span that it's actually gone through alpha 20 probably had a good 20 different mods for the game and additional modlets where you could just add them to vanilla to make quality of life changes uh, to the game so the initial reaction to this announcement from cardinal was not received very well because a lot of modded streamers and content creators were kind of freaking out at the fact that they could possibly receive a dmca strike as well for playing modded now, earlier this morning, see, and that's a problem. The Fun Pips actually came out and announced that the reason for all of these shenanigans is not due to modded games, but rather mm. due to Mischief Maker. Now, right. a little background. So that's like a really like non-answer, right? It's not because people are modding the game. We don't care that people mod the game, except for this one company that modded the game. And if it's this one company now. It'll be this next company later and this next. So like you have this revolving door where you can never feel safe because the mod you play today will not be acceptable tomorrow. Mischief Maker is very similar to Twitch integration. For and that's scary. That are Both are extensions that can be used in the game for streamers and content creators to have their chat be able to interact with the stream. Yep. Kind of like chat Twitter, integration. There's a bunch of other services out there to do this. Mischief Maker is used by a lot of streamers, a lot of the larger streamers. It is a source of income 
for a lot of streamers and content creators because the chat uses guys can we keep it down a little bit please you guys are like yelling it's in order to get no it it is dodgy in a sense because like yeah they're striking the modifications to their platform but I think the way it does make sense is I believe that through Fun Pimps chat integration, there are monetization paths. So an argument can be made that they can lose money through their integration system because this alternate integration system extension exists, which is a reasonable corporate company type claim. I get that. Like, because you've made this, this program, you are actively stealing money from our program based off of our game. That's an argument to be made, but the attacking the content creator for using it when they didn't know that it wasn't allowed to be used that becomes the problem because now you're attacking a third party that isn't involved in that like back and forth knowingly. Um, you need to attack the the person making the extension, which also doesn't make the community happy, but that's who your legal complaint and argument is against. Now you're affecting a creator and his revenue and again you're pushing creators away from your game and that is going to decrease the game's popularity quickly depending on how many people act on that get points for the system to do all the different crazy shit that you're able to do through them now the whole gist of this is that back i want to say about a week ago there was a change in the fun pimps ULA in which and no everyone ability. look we all know everyone reads their end user license agreement everyone reads it top to bottom to make sure they're within the lines there's no way that anyone just clicks the accept button and doesn't look at it so it's reasonable to understand that when they make those changes as long as they force us to accept the new ones we're going to read it and everyone's on the same page the to use Mischief Maker on their game. There was no announcement made uh, of this. That's and, a problem. Um, the change went into effect. Legal documentation was sent out uh, according to the fun pimps. And starting this week, they started doing DMCA strikes on the cop their copyright, their IP, for those that were still using it. Now, there was no well, announcement made by the dev in charge of Mischief Maker. There was no announcement another problem. last week when the change occurred by the fun pimps to ward streamers and content creators of the change incoming. And honestly, the, the, the other part of this that rubs me the wrong way is the fact that I know for a fact that Cardinal was not the only streamer using Mischief Maker yesterday during their stream. But yet, at least to my knowledge, he was the only one that was banned. He was the only one big enough to get caught. It's really hard. Like, there's a lot of things that you look at. Some people get away with things and some people don't on Twitch and all the platforms because some people just don't get caught. They don't have the audience or the right person doesn't stop in. This happens all the time. And I think the argument that this is breaking terms of service for the game and not DMCA is a very valid argument like if you want to ban the user from the game for 24 48 hours perm perma ban whatever you want to do in the game okay but they're not violating dmca necessarily because they are not stealing the game or creating content in a way that's not argued as fair use for any other video game they are however breaking your user agreement which is an in-game punishment or a steam punishment and that's the route that it should have been going not after the content creation through dmca because the argument that it's somehow dmca and like breaking i guess maybe breaking the user agreement 
breaks the fair usage argument, but it's a very weird area to be in, I guess. On the platform. And that there's a whole lot of other speculation behind the reasoning for that I'm not going to get into. I think the biggest thing that the fun pimps need to do right now, because again, there was no announcements. There, they can there kill was, their community nothing, with this if they're not no like doing it correctly. We saw on socials saying that this was coming so that streamers could basically prevent themselves from getting these strikes. It just seems... It seems very odd that this would occur without any aforementioned knowledge. Like, I think that they should have had Discord announcements. They should have had, they should have tweeted it and they should have given like warnings to creators. They should have given a lot of like leeway and warnings to creators in this system and like, yeah, okay, doing it this way where they targeted a big guy and, like, hit him really fast and really hard, it gets the word out fast because people are talking about it, but that also leaves, like, a sour taste in people's mouths. And You could have done it so many other ways to make sure that your community is aware that if they continue this action, it's going to be a problem. They're so loud. Because of this, I uh, honestly, I think that the fun pimps need to kind of do a little bit of control on this. And the way to do a that little bit is to if mission they need to be in spin control not right now going to be a viable option, because if you use it, you're going to get a strike. And Twitch integration is the only thing that you're able to use on your streams and your content to have the chat interact and to provide some kind of monetary support to the streamers for the use of it. The fun right. pimps and the seven days that I devs, they need to make that Twitch integration a hell of a lot more robust than it is now. That's a bad argument. Um, I agree. Like we want, people to continue to build the systems and make them better over time however them not having the product that is exactly what you want as a content creator a game or whatever is not an excuse for another company to be able to undercut their systems i get it i do like it's not exactly what i want so like i want someone else to make it but like at the end of the day, they own the IP for the game. They own the IP for Twitch integration. Them not having the exact systems you want within that does not excuse someone undercutting and taking away from their product the way that Mischief Maker kind of had. I can see a very reasonable and standard corporate style argument about how mischief maker is taking away from the fun pimp development cycle and everything with the the system they're using but to say that it's okay because that game doesn't give us exactly what we want that wouldn't fly anywhere in in a court system i don't think that's like saying uh, there, there are games that don't allow modding in their game world at all. And that's, that's basically the same as saying that it doesn't matter if a game doesn't allow mods. If it doesn't have exactly what I want, they should just allow it and they have to accept it. They have to accept that people can change their product however they want. And that's not an argument that you can be made. To support those content creators that are playing their game. It's the right thing to do. Let's just see if they do it. So uh, that's pretty much all the information that we have at this point. If if updates come out about this, I'll be sure to keep you all posted as to what the situation is. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, try to stay sane. We'll catch you later. I mean, it was a good, like, quick little breakdown. I don't think, like, he had all the points like on lock it wasn't bad though um 
Hey survivors, the Mischief Maker Twitch extension has been monetized by Mischief Maker in a way that is non-compliant with our end user license agreement and therefore results in a copyright infringement of seven days to die by those using the extension and Mischief Maker. Mission Maker received legal notice of copyright infringement in EULA non-compliance several days before Fun Pimps took action to take down infringing streams using Mission Maker Extinction. Anyone who streams through Twitch using illegal Mischief Maker extensions will be risking a DMCA takedown as well. The Fun Pimps have always welcomed mods for 7 Days to Die that do not illegally monetize the game and will continue to permit streaming or video creation on any platform that does not violate the EL EULA. And that, I think, is the key... It makes sense to me if the mods are being monetized outside of the gaming's ecosystem. Companies do have certain rights to protect that. When did they tweet this out? 21 July. Mm. So they tweeted it out like right before that guy got banned, if, if that's correct, right? Because this was posted two days ago, and he said yesterday. So that guy got busted on the 21st so they tweeted it about the same time i think they should have given the community a little bit more heads up and more notice like starting in two days this is going to happen this is your warning spread the word well this one says before you made the announcement but, uh, wrong. He was warned nearly a week in advance and ignored the warning. It only, I uh, selective enforcement. That's a problem. I could see that as a problem for sure. He didn't accept the end user license agreement. Like, so there are arguments on both sides and I do understand that like it's, it's a complicated issue, but I think that going after creators and upsetting creators is the, the wrong way to approach it. You need to focus your efforts on the people who are making a system that steals money from your coffers, so to speak. And the creators aren't the ones. The creators are the ones that boost your community and keep your community afloat. I think Seven Days to Die did some things that were kind of not the right path. I think Mischief Maker is probably in the wrong and they they don't deserve to like make money off of someone else's game if that's not within the agreement. But like creators who are stuck in the middle of this very complex situation need to be given warnings and not just DMCA'd right out the gate because it's going to hurt your reputation within that community and that is going to hurt your overall game popularity. I guess that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> and subscribe. Do this stuff. You want all that? All of that. Hey there, it's Skeg Froggy. Thanks for watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and follow me here on Twitch for more awesome content. Link is in the description.